this is Sahi from Techie Tweaks. Welcome to our channel and the, in this new video. So guys, in this video, we'll do different test of this Fab 2 Plus. We'll check its benchmarking scores. We'll look at its specifications in depth and we'll also check its sensor. And in the last, we'll check its OTG support also. So let's get started. So guys, let's start by taking a look at its specifications. And as you can see, the chipset mentioned is MediaTek MT6735, which is clocked at 1.3 GHz. It is an octa-core chipset, and all the eight cores are based upon ARM Cortex A53. And as you can see, the architecture process is 28 nanometer, and the GPU used is Mali T720. So guys moving on to the device as you can see the internal storage is actually 32 GB out of which uh, 24.5 GB is available to users and the RAM is 3 GB and out of which 58% that is 1600 RAM approximately is available to users. The PPI is 360 and the display is 1080p although the screen size, screen size mentioned is 6.12 inches. So guys moving on to the other things as you can see it is running on android version 6.0 and the security patch level is 5 october 2016 which is not bad the battery quest is 4000 milliamps and these are the thermal scores and it's not overheating now moving on to the sensors as you can see the list of sensors uh, actually it's not long like like the redmi 3s prime but all the basic sensors but i would say more than basic the sensors are provided light sensor is there pedometer is also there and as you can see gyroscope is also there so guys let's move to the first uh, test that is n22 so guys i'll run this test test and i'll back when the result comes so that it is not boring for you guys so let's get started so guys as you can see the test is near to completions and we'll have a look at the scores which this fab 2 plus has scored and one thing which i have to say is that earlier also it crashed on this n22 right now the scores are 39501 and these are the breakup of scores as you can see the 3d score is not that great but for the price we are paying and for the multimedia device it is it's a very decent score and one thing is that the back is not getting heated up it, it's just warm to touch over this area it's just warm but there is no signs of excessive heating on this device so guys let's get out of this n22 and we'll try the quadrant and i'll also skip this part of the video so guys as you can see the test is now complete and i was submitting the scores and on quadrant the score is very nice at 21403 and this is the breakage of scores and here in 3d the scores is less but in 2d graphics it has performed really nicely obviously this benchmark tells half story but uh, the benchmark scores are very decent on this device so uh, we are now in geekbench 4 so let's try this also so guys as you can see the, uh, the test is almost complete and for the single core we have got a score of 613 and for a multi core score we have 2557. I would call this is a very decent performance. Uh, I know it is not up to the level of 650 or 652 or, or even the 625 but uh, all in all this is a different type of smartphone this is not a powerful smartphone but uh, it is meant for media consumption so now we are checking the otg sport on this thing so let's check whether otg sport is present or not so guys as you can see as i plugged in the usb otg it has detected my sandy 64 gb usb drive so let's explore it and watch a video on this thing and so let's try this one So this is the default player of this uh, Fab 2 Plus and as you can see the quality of display is actually really nice <laughs> and as you can see the audio quality is really nice as well. The experience with this Fab 2 Plus is really immersive. 
so guys that that was pretty much it from the video if you have liked the video hit that like button for more such videos like this please subscribe to our channel and invite your friends to if you want to buy this fab 2 plus all the links are mentioned in this uh, description box just use my links you will be charged nothing extra but it will eventually help out the channel and if you want to follow me on facebook twitter instagram etc all the links are mentioned in description box as well so this is sahi from tech it Week signing off thank you guys for watching and we will meet in next one